Hello there and welcome back to Pasta Nostra USA here in our kitchen where we're showing you how to make uh, fagiolini. They're little pieces of pasta that look like the shells of peas. And with all of our pasta making, we're going to start you off with the right pasta for the job. So here we're preparing a durum flour and water pasta dough. We've got some mathematics for you so that you can ensure perfect pasta every time. Measure everything in grams and for every gram of flour divide it by 1.82 and this will give you the amount of liquid that you'll require. So in our case we used 300 grams of durum wheat flour divided that by 1.82 which gave us a total of 165 grams of liquid, in our case, water. So let's just make sure we understand that if you were to be using 600 grams of semolina durum wheat flour, then you will divide that by 1.82 and that will give you the appropriate uh, grams in water. Now I begin all of my pasta making in a bowl. I find it easier. Once you reach a point that it's manageable, then I put it out onto a work surface. Pasta dough is actually very, very dry, so it feels like you haven't quite got it right. But you are right. If you stick with the calculation and be patient, you will end up with a really good pasta dough, just as the Italians make. In total, you're going to knead your dough for at least 10 minutes. This helps set up the gluten that's required to form a stretchy dough. After the first two minutes, if you find that your pasta dough is feeling a little tacky just sprinkle a little bit of flour onto the work surface and knead it into the dough you may have to do this a couple of times but that's okay it will be very rare if you stick to the calculation at the beginning of the video that you'll have to add any more water Eventually, you'll reach a really nice, smooth dough. Now we're going to pop that into a Ziploc bag after thoroughly coating it in a dusting of flour. Now whether you use saran wrap, cling film, a Ziploc bag, try to get as much of the air out as possible and this will help stop your dough from sweating too much. At this point, once you've packaged it, you could put it into the freezer. I've done that quite successfully. However, I would say that when you're making pasta, it's always better to make it fresh for the day that you're going to be using it. It's much better that way. And this is what we did with our fagiolini. Now 
to make a fagiolini, you're just going to roll out the dough and cut it into sizes about the size of your finger. A half a finger, sorry. Push it forward lightly, roll it back. And there it looks just like a little pea pod. Push it forward, roll it back. You need to apply quite a bit of pressure. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get there. These are very easy to put together. As you work, make sure your fingers don't get too sticky. Just dust them in a little bit of flour and keep those fagiolini dusted in flour too. Aren't they beautiful? Now we're going to make fagiolini in cream with peas and prosciutto. This pasta is very, very dense. And so it's one of those that you really do want to make fresh because if you leave it to dry too much, it will take longer to cook. But as you'll see in the following clips, this is pretty much ready in about 10 minutes and you'll have a dish. Liberally salt the water to your own tastes. Remember the pasta dough doesn't have any salt. I've rarely seen Italians put salt into their pasta dough, so this is the way I've always done it. As they cook, they will float to the top. And at that, mo that moment then, they're pretty much done. Just test them. Lift them out of the water, let them drain in the colander and just set them to one side. We're going to empty that water and use the same dish to make the sauce. Starting with olive oil, some prosciutto, some frozen peas, season with salt, some black pepper add some dry white wine and we're going to bring that all to a simmer to reduce the liquid and at that point then we add the cream season again little bit of salt, little bit of black pepper and bring that cream to a boil. This is when you'll be adding your fagiolini into the sauce. Throw in some Parmesan cheese which I could have done at the end but I put mine in at the beginning. Some chopped parsley and then cook until all of that sauce is reduced. It takes a couple of minutes. Time to plate this beautiful dish of fagiolini. Look at that. We hope you've enjoyed your time here with us at Pasta Nostra USA. I know we certainly enjoy bringing you these videos and helping you to make pasta perfect every time. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and like. It does help us to bring you more of, of these delicious looking videos look at that plate fit for a king parmesan cheese of course olive oil you always see them do this in italy
little bit of parsley. And buon appetito. Ciao. Arrivederci and see you again soon.